The first letter in the word CRUD is C, and that stands for create. So let's do a create operation and send a, a create statement to our SQL Server database. Now, that means doing an insert SQL and also formatting this in an interesting way. We're going to use a prepared statement here, not just a regular statement that sends pure SQL. We're going to say insert into task name values question mark. And that question mark means it's a prepared statement, which means we have to fill that question mark in before we actually execute the command. So what I'm going to do is instead of getting a statement object from the driver manager, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a prepared statement object from it. Now, I've just typed in get connection and uh, the type ahead did me dirty. That first connect get connection should not be insert SQL. That should be a reference to my JDBC URL. Then I say, hey, prepare a statement for me using this SQL and that generates a prepared statement for me. Now I do have one variable, one question mark in there that I got to fill in. And so I say prepared statement, let's set that first question mark to the text string learn spring boot. That's our first task that we have to do. And of course you could be getting this as input from a program, but we're just going to hard code it in for now. And then once again, we execute things when we're doing SQL. We are regular executioners. So we say prepared statement dot execute. Then we just do a little printout that says, hey, we created a record. We've got the first letter of CRUD under our belt. But of course, I don't care about the printout. I care about what goes into the database. So I'm going to run this. It's a Java application. It says we created a record, which is a good indication, but I'm from Missouri. I want to be shown. So I right click on the table, say select the top 1000 records. And that first one with the primary key of one says learn spring boot. Everything is working exactly as expected. Now I'm going to move this into a little method. I'll right click and say refractor refactor extract method. I'll call this create operation here because we did do a SQL create operation JDBC with SQL server. And now that's all isolated and I can move on to the next letter of CRUD, which is R for read or retrieve something like that. Okay, I'm doing just a very quick interruption here. A couple of things, uh, you know, the YouTube algorithm hates me for some reason right now. If you're enjoying this video, if you could like, subscribe, and even leave a comment, I would really love to hear from you and, and find out if you've enjoyed this. It'll also help wake up the YouTube algorithm and maybe give my, my channel and my videos a little bit more exposure. So I would really appreciate that. The other thing too, is I got a new copy of Hibernate Made Easy coming out, the best selling book. I've updated it for version seven of Hibernate. So if you're into JPA, Spring Data, Spring JDBC, uh, please sign up for my mailing list. You don't have to buy it, but uh, I'll be raffling off some free copies for members of my newsletter. Um, and I'll also be making uh, chapters available through the newsletter as well. So sign up for that. There's a link in the description. And finally, I helped out with some final edits on Darcy DeClute Scrum Master Certification Guide. So if you're agile and you're working with Scrum and you're interested in getting Scrum Master certified, a lot of people have been using this book to score 100% on the product owner and Scrum Master exam. So it's available on Amazon go pick that up. Uh, I know Darcy would be very happy if you did. Okay, that's it. I'm really sorry to, to bother you. Let's get back into the coding.